Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial on Canva. In this tutorial, uh, why do I keep saying this? Before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified in time I upload new videos. So let's jump straight into Canva. Yeah, so here we are in Canva and I, you know, I was just feeling like coming up with a tutorial. I was laying down some few minutes ago and I just felt uh why not just create a tutorial so i just hopped you know and just came to sit down and just started so i designed something interesting and uh, i think this is something you would love to learn just in case you are um a designer for a company and you're being told to design some sort of like um id cards or something like that i'm sure this is a cool design you can use you can use your colors but i just used my colors you know i love to use my colors so yeah so let's see how to create this i know you know just something small and even if you're making the post on instagram you can use this at the latter part you can say subscribe uh you know you like my serious face you know anyway let me just stop misbehaving and start so before i start to create my um design the first thing i'll do is to set my custom dimension which is 1080 by 1350 create design and just in case you don't know how to set your custom dimensions you just come to create design custom dimension then i have mine in already so create design and it loads up and this is what we have an empty um blank slide yeah so the first thing i'll do is just to come here change color okay and i'll be going very fast i know you are canva you are a canva expert so what i'm doing is just like child's play mm, yeah so yeah yellow come here select my shape layer so which shape am i going for i'll go for the square and canva you know to be able to go to hey what am i even saying to be good in Canva, you should just know how to play with shapes to get what you want. For example, let me just dive it. I just want to brag a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, so I I will show you something. Okay, which one? Let me come to. This is a post I created. I think about two days ago or so, and I just want to show you something. Why I'm saying that to be able to be good at using Canva, you should master how to use the shapes so a while ago i was just trying to look for um how do you call it a bookmark thing for the save thing on instagram okay so i came to the elements and i just type bookmark and by then i hadn't you know discovered png guru so i was just fresh so i searched for bookmark and i didn't like these things i wanted something which is filled you know like something like this and all of the field ones were pro and i was like what so how am i going to achieve this thing so i just came up with an idea that i'll just create my own thing so let me just zoom in and um let me come here so i created my own and you realize these are just shapes i combined okay so i used two triangles i just brought them together and I brought one small um, rectangle also and I just placed it on top for it to look like that. So you realize how it looks. Eh? And no one knows, no one has discovered it. But if you're watching this tutorial, then you're the first person to realize this. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. That's all. And I'll just show you this to waste your time. So that YouTube will think this tutorial has a lot of information. So i'll just create this um circle i'll place it here i'll increase the size a little bit okay and now duplicate it to ctrl c ctrl v and i'll reduce the size a little bit and i'll change the background to um do you know what i would rather make this one white okay 
and I'll bring this one on top okay then I'll come to use the photo placeholder I think that's the name we should call it even though I don't know the exact name but it just allows you to find this thing it just allows you to add um, images uh, my internet please don't embarrass me around this time when everyone is watching ready to learn oh my goodness hmm it's saying offline how come so should i just stop with this tutorial and just post it because oh my gosh okay you know i wouldn't allow this internet to stop me so I just come to the old one I created. So, like you saw, I just brought the rounded thing. Let me just go to. Let me just close this. Okay. Okay. So I just click this and it came. So once it it comes in a circular um, form. Okay. And you just drag your photo into it, and that's how it just picks it up. But I just don't want to cancel this tutorial. Oh my goodness! What the heck? okay so you realize even though it's not loaded up you realize that we still have it here okay and um the next thing we just have to do is to double click and just drag this down okay you just align your photo correctly so i just placed it on top that's all i did okay so just in case let me just do this uh, since we can undo okay so you know like something like this which is now inside okay very easy and very simple i think there's no big deal about this but i don't know why my internet would go off around this time i also don't want to start all over hmm. it's very bad so let me just try and see if i can bring okay so i'll just lock this okay because i don't want it to be moving around i don't want to be moving it and i'll come into my images uploads hmm. This is not going to load. My God, I cannot use as an image. Okay, so we'll still do something. Okay, so I'll just bring this pretty lady. It's not even loading. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like I was saying, let me just come here, and I'll just demonstrate how I created all of this. So I placed the um the photo on top. Okay, and I just use a text wrote down the name ceo of drunker cx i don't know and with this barcode i came into the elements okay and i searched for barcode and this QR code came and i thought it's good you know it looks it fits whatever i want to talk about okay so i just brought it in and aligned it and one tip since my internet is off now and i also don't want to redo this let me just say this when you're working on a design especially with something like canva you realize that there are a, there's a lot of things you can't do with canva but you would still have to um you know with the imp with the impossible things uh what am i even saying you know with things which may seem impossible you should always have the mind to make it possible okay so you shouldn't be limited with the little tools and stuff you have over here you can use it to create massive like designs and everyone will be thinking you're using photoshop and stuff for example i created this two days ago and uh, it looks like i use photoshop but i never use photoshop i'll make a tutorial on how like a tutorial on the breakdown okay so that you'd be able to get it and stuff but this is a big disgrace that my internet went off and with these things are just lines okay so i just brought lines here and i just extended the line okay and i just changed the color so i just change i can just bring this one here okay and i just place another one here and just change the color so that we have contrast colors and um, it just makes everything beautiful so we are just using three colors here you realize white um the blue and my yellow and that's why that's how i created this very simple so i think yeah next time i'll make sure my internet doesn't disconnect and hey you know i'm i can't tell the my isps what to do 
they decide when to cancel it and when not to so the name is benjamin and even though i embarrass myself by making this tutorial and posting it without being ashamed thank you for still taking the time to watch this in and you know you just use this design create something show it to your boss i'm sure he'll give you a raise in your pay in your salary and once he gives it to you you know i'll be waiting for my share so the name is benjamin and i'll see you in my next video and before you go make sure to subscribe that button do it now please do it now you can't just watch a video and just watch hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video